Oh my gosh, the last day filming on set of the game um, was really emotional, I have to say. Um, and I didn't really expect I'd be so emotional. I remember um, getting ready to to drive to set. I was actually in my shower and I just broke down and started crying. Because <laughs> I just thought, oh, this is the last day that I'm gonna play Kelly Pitts and I've been playing that character for almost 10 years. And um, I didn't realize that it would hit me that hard because we knew for the last um, the last season that it was going to be our last one. So we it was kind of like senior year of high school. So we were like staying late after work. It was like we we're hanging out in the senior parking lot, and we were just going out. And I feel like you know every time we would shoot on a set, we'd be like, oh my gosh, this is the last time we're going to shoot in Kelly and Jason's living room. This is the last time. So we kind of were and we're taking tons of pictures. So I felt like. We, um, we were celebrating every single moment, so I think we went out with style. That would be really hard for me to, it would be hard for me to say which cast member I bonded the most with, because I have different connections with all of them for different reasons. Like uh, Tia Maori, I really connected with her because she's a twin, so we could relate to each other and share our stories, and um, I think she and I connected on that level, and also she and I are really into health food and fitness, and we have all these different little connections, and. Um, yeah, and Wendy and I would, would connect because she's really involved with different charities and organizations and she just has such a good heart. Like each one of us have different reasons, so I couldn't say one or be betraying the other one. What I can say about the season finale is they're bringing back Tia Maori and Puchal, which are some of the original cast members, so I think the fans are going to be really excited. It's also a 90 minute episode, mm -hmm. so there's going to be a lot that comes uh, with the, the series finale and I think it's... They do, the writers do a great job of kind of bringing everything, the closure is really great. Everything comes to a beautiful kind of completion. And I don't think it's tied up with a pretty pink bow at the end. But, um, I think they do it in a really graceful way. Um, but I think there's a lot of kind of exciting moments in, in the series finale. I think I will miss, I think the journey of uh, her growth. I think Mara Brock Akil, the creator of the show, really understands women and understands our flaws. And she doesn't write characters that are um, just some stereotypes. And I think people, I, my, myself included, really relate to all of these characters. And I tell Mara, and I tell my fans that come up to me, I said, I really relate to her. And myself, I feel like I've grown, as silly as it might sound, I feel like I've grown through these storylines too. Because sometimes in the beginning I felt like I didn't always, and still to this day, I don't always stand up and speak my truth about everything. So sometimes in that character, I feel like it would remind me to stand up for myself. So I think I will miss just playing that, just reading the lines and finding my myself through that character. So I think I'll miss uh, the writing.